With our children in public schools, Diane and I are extremely concerned about education. We meet with teachers frequently, and during those meetings we have an opportunity to listen to their concerns and their frustrations. And because of the things that we hear when we're meeting with teachers, I thought it might be appropriate to do a short video letting you know where I stand on some of the educational issues. Our teachers have a considerable amount of education, professional development, and training, so the obvious question to me is, why don't we just let the teachers teach? Why don't we give them the academic freedom to do what's in the best interest of the children in the classroom? You know, teachers feel micromanaged, and why wouldn't they? You've got people from Washington, people from Nashville telling them what to do, how to do it, and what's in the best interest of children that they've never even met, and they don't even know those kids. The teachers are the ones who are closest to the children, and they're the ones who need to be making the decisions as to what's in the best interest of the child, along with the parents and the administrators at that school. Over the past 25 or 30 years, we've just gotten to a point where we have allowed Nashville and we've allowed Washington to take over our schools. And what's it accomplished? You know, are our schools any better today than they were 25 or 30 years ago? I don't think they are. To me, education is a local issue, and control should stay on the local level. So the citizens of the county, they elect a school board, the school board elects a director of schools, and so forth. If the citizens of a county want to have good schools, it's up to them to do it. It's not the job of Nashville. It's not the job of the federal government. We need to have control of education here locally where parents, teachers, administrators, and school board members all work together to have outstanding schools for our children. The evaluation process, I mean, this is worth an entire video of itself. The evaluation process that we have in place in Tennessee is ridiculous. And I've never seen teachers so demoralized in the current environment. And I have to tell you, if I was being evaluated under these circumstances, I would be completely demoralized too. As a businessman, I would never evaluate my employees in this way, and I don't know why we allow teachers to be evaluated this way. The evaluation system has to go, and we have to put in its place something, again, that's created on a local level that meets the needs of the students and the parents and the teachers of a community. Testing is a topic that comes up in every conversation with a teacher. And I hear the same thing over and over again. There's a great deal of concern about teaching to the test and about how much time students are spending in testing. In Tennessee, some of our kids are spending up to six weeks of the school year in testing. And I don't believe that that helps with their educational experience. You know, to have a well-rounded child, you have to have a child who has exposure to the arts, they have exposure to music, they have exposure to history. And if they're spending all of their time being taught to take a test with the teaching to the test, we're really shortchanging their educational experience. And I think teachers are very frustrated by it, and I know that that needs to change. Common Core is a topic that comes up over and over again. Let me start by saying I'm not against elevated standards. We ought to have high standards for our children, and we ought to expect great things of them. That said, I'm completely against Common Core. Completely, totally against Common Core. You know, in January of 2010, when the Tennessee General Assembly voted for first to the top, that's what opened the door for Common Core to come to Tennessee, and we need to push it back out of our schools. First of all, the federal government has no role in the education of our children. It's not a constitutionally mandated role of the federal government. You know, it's kind of ironic because if we didn't have all the teaching to the test, and if they taught the Constitution and taught what our founders had to say, then people today would recognize right away that the federal government has no constitutional authority when it comes to education. So we need to push Common Core and any federal program out of our schools. And again, we need to have that control here locally so we decide what's in the best interest of our children. In closing, I just want to say that our children have had an excellent experience in Robertson County Schools. Our kids have been at Christ Hall Elementary, Springfield Middle, and Springfield High. And the reason they've had a good experience is because they've had great teachers working with them, teachers who care about them. And as we interact with teachers, we're convinced of one thing, and that is we've got great teachers in Tennessee, and our General Assembly needs to be supporting our teachers, not working against them, so that we can have an educational experience for our children that everybody's proud of and where everybody wins. If you want to talk to me more about educational issues, please don't hesitate to give me a call on my cell phone, or you can send me an email. I would love to hear from you and love to hear your thoughts on education. Thank you.